In the 72 hours since news of the prisoner swap for Sergeant Bo Bergdahl broke, there has been lots of talk about the U.S. servicemen who lost their lives in the effort to rescue him. But our next guest says we should also be thinking about the number of troops who were killed trying to capture the five Taliban leaders our president just put back on the street. Senator Ted Cruz is a Republican out of Texas. He's with me now. Senator, uh, the, there's a reason why there was bipartisan objection mm -hmm. to releasing these five guys for years here. Now, that, that's exactly right, Megan. I mean, th this, this entire deal is, is extremely troubling. Uh, the president decided to make a deal with terrorists, Taliban, that, that, that are closely affiliated and interwoven with al-Qaeda. And that deal we released five senior Taliban terrorists. And, and as you just observed a second ago, a, a, an obvious question that leaps to mind, how many soldiers lost their lives to capture these five Taliban terrorists? And, and how many soldiers may lose their lives in the future if and when these, the, these Taliban return to making war against Americans? Or how many innocent civilians might be killed? And, you know, as this thing has unwound in the last 72 hours, and we've seen the, the questions that have been raised about Sergeant Bergdahl. Well, there's a whole set of new questions that are raised about what the president knew and when he knew it, what they knew about Sergeant Bergdahl's conduct, about all of the very serious allegations that have been raised. What kind of vetting went on? Or, or did they simply make this deal and send these terrorists over without doing any vetting at all? And, and then that's a question we need to answer. There are some reports that there were objections uh, inside the administration that were overruled. Uh, and, of course, the Army back in 2010 d determined that Bergdahl mm -hmm. walked away from his unit. So.